4,385 pounds, an exceptionally well-kept 19 FD J flight here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Serve these folks well. God bless America, did they take care of it? Just ready to update and upgrade. And it takes about all of one half of one second to look through this thing, see how clean, gleaming, shining, well-kept everything is, to know that this RV was not at all abused. I believe it was stored inside. I based that on a couple things like the complete lack of weathering on the tires, the decals, and the fact that the roof is just fantastically well kept. Um, this, if you look at the RV fossil record, this would be the genetic ancestor, I guess you could say, to the very popular 212 Jayco SLX. The 19FD was basically the small starter camper of the J-Flight lineup before the SLX series had been introduced. So, uh, you know, the little boxes like this, the J-Flights used to be, you know, typically a lot bigger. But there were a lot of people who said, you know, I want, I want that really nice high-class Jayco camper, but I, I don't, you know... I just don't want to get the big high class budget. And that's kind of where this one came in. Now what's kind of neat here, you got that nicer porcelain foot flush stool and uh, the, the bathroom is between the like living and bedroom areas so it helps provide privacy for the sleeping area but it's also right next to the entry door. Like I'm standing in front of the entry door right now so you're one, two, three steps in and out. Now you can see this is completely carpetless. Not only is it easy to clean, it's been well cleaned obviously. Um, so, you know, kind of from the bathroom back, the general layout and gist of this thing is, again, pretty much the, the 212 J-Flight SLX that you see today. This just being, I guess you call it the higher trim package J-Flight that existed before the SLXs. We got that uh, sofa with a little storage below that can fold down into a sleeper. Same deal with the dinette that can fold down. So, good couples rig with some guest capacity. But what's nice is this little box in the living area doesn't feel so little because we are surrounded by... Uh, just a whole slew of windows here. Great crossbreeds visibility and airflow. Oh, I like that dressed up light above there. Just nice little touches. Um, the uh, folks added a TV up here into the entertainment area, wall mounted it. And what's also nice is they left it behind because that's not a factory installed TV. And when I see things like that, when I see things where a previous owner spent money on something and then left it behind, that is such a huge indicator that these were folks who... Kind of like, they were the everything had its place type people. They weren't the type that would rob Peter to pay Paul. Now, quick note, that is a CD player stereo, not DVD. So just keep that little note in mind. But there's plenty of room up on that shelf. If you wanted to add some entertainment options, you could. DVDs are now largely outdated anyway. Um, this is six foot nine tall, as opposed to a more common six and a half foot tall in what you refer to as an entry level trailer meaning our kitchen cabinets are taller, and you can see how, I mean, you know, cabinet doors, drawers, everywhere they possibly could here, and even little details like this, where this cabinet door would have bumped that cabinet, they put one of these little rubber, you know, baby buggy bumpers, <laughs> to um, just obviously soften the blow and to keep the cabinet from getting scarred up. So if somebody's willing to pay that kind of attention to something, you know that they paid attention to everything else too. It just the one goes with the other. Now, six foot nine pantry, and they even gave you storage space below the fridge. There's just not an ounce of space gone to waste in here. The only floor plan layout ver difference here between the, uh, the, this 19FD and the 212 current J-Flight is that this does have an east-west bed. But you can see that what that also allows for is this big hanging closet right here. It's actually a little bit taller than what you get in a 212. And you do have a little bit uh, extra overhead storage versus just a shelf. I did notice that the anchors in that shade were popped out of the wall. It just needs restrung. So currently that is just kind of, I guess, stuck in the down position. And that is literally the most derogatory thing I can say about this camper. As I mentioned earlier, I have very good reason to believe this RV was stored inside just because of the general shape and condition of it. But it was also kept clean and, and conditioned well. Um, I don't have confirmation of this at this time. So please take this with a bit of a grain of salt. These folks did not use a weight distribution system, or they did rather, I see the saddles, but I see that the anti-sway module is still hooked up, but I don't see the rest of the hitching laying around. For the benefit of you, the consumer, assume this does not have any sort of anti-sway or hitching or anything like that included with it. Uh, rather, give our guys a call and please ask 
what is included with this thing so that we can make sure you know you're not led astray um, I work very quickly the folks are inside actually going through the orientation tour of their new RV that they purchased and or purchased rather so uh, I actually might be ahead of our service team. They may not have yet swapped over hitching. I'm not sure what they're buying in, in exchange. So please keep that in mind. Now, all that being said, power tongue jack. Um, no peeling, fading of decals. Now, this does not have uh, the what is very common today, the J-Flight thermal package, uh, because it existed before that was really found on these little boxes. Now, they upgraded the wheels on this. I bet it had uh, the white steel wheels originally. However... The Goodyear radials on this baby, they are looking fine, ladies and gentlemen. And as always, galvanized steel wheel well up here, so that God forbid you pick up some debris in transit, it's not going to blow that wheel apart and shred everything up above that, because above that is, see, there's a water inlet. Your refrigerator's right above that. You don't want that getting shredded up. I did notice that the folks put a, uh, a bike rack uh, hooked onto the uh, ladder back here. I'm not personally a big fan of those. I don't like putting cargo or weight on that ladder. That being said, I climbed up and down that ladder two different times, uh, and I'm going to do it a third time to uh, get some roof footage in just a second here, and that thing is solid as a rock. So, even though they did put something on there that I don't usually uh, advise, they weren't, you know, silly about it, and they actually applied some common sense. One more note before we hop upstairs to, actually, I guess now that I'm looking, it does have the bigger entry handle for the main door, and we do have a gas grill quick connect right below that window right there. So if you do want to get the heat from cooking outside, no sweat, ladies and gentlemen. And it'll probably come as no surprise to you, ladies and gentlemen, that the roof is similarly well kept. In fact, this has been so well kept, they kept it clean condition and protected from the uh, brunt of the weather so well, these are still the original factory seals. And this is why you don't just use a soap on the roof, you also use a conditioner. Because it's like sunscreen for your camper. These seals are still pliable and viable. Now you can see the beginnings of weathering, but that's to be expected. This should be far more advanced on an RV with I would say even average care because right now it doesn't even need touch-ups. This thing looks this thing looks great, guys. You're not inheriting someone else's problems. So you're just getting a, a good, used, very solid, uh, I don't know, call it starter camper, but just small hard side couples camper. So short of that, you can see that we have no shortage of other things to look at here at Halet RV, only 15 acres and 500-ish kind of things to look at. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.